I really need a cup of coffee. Sometimes you just need a cup of coffee and you need it right now. But who wants to spend five bucks each and every time you get a craving? That's just one of the many ways Smarter is hoping to earn your business with the Smarter Coffee second generation coffee maker, a connected coffee maker with tons of possibilities. Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines and this is our review of the Smarter Coffee second generation. Coffee makers come in all shapes and sizes nowadays, ranging from the $20 bargain bin models to ones that cost several hundred dollars, not to mention specialty brew and single brew models as well. Smarter is here to offer what appears like a simple bean to cup coffee maker, but it's what's inside that packs the real punch. Launching in a number of countries through Amazon and other retailers, the Smarter coffee maker isn't the cheapest you're gonna find out there, but it offers functionality that most coffee makers wouldn't ever have. The unit itself is common enough looking at first, but has some really nice touches to the design. Most of the unit is clad in brushed aluminum with black plastic pieces filling in the void. Smarter ships the coffee maker with interchangeable face plates too, so if the black and aluminum look doesn't fit with the rest of your appliances, maybe the cream or the red faceplates will. These pop off via two buttons underneath each plate and snap right back in without much hassle. Up top is the bean hopper, which features an adjustable grinder with a dial that allows you to choose between coarse and fine grinds. The biggest issue here is that the dial isn't labeled at all. It actually took me a while to figure out what the heck the thing even did. The ground beans fall down into the filter tray and Smarter ships a permanent washable metal mesh filter with the coffee maker, cutting down on supplies you'll need to buy and subsequently throw away. The glass carafe at the bottom receives the finished coffee and is preheated to prevent any burning the coffee might otherwise go through if it weren't. This preheat time can be adjusted and the warmer will stay on up to 40 minutes if you so choose. Personally, I don't really care for glass carafes. I'm very sensitive to burnt coffee and anything below four cups in the carafe usually tastes burnt to me. Some folks may not have this issue, but not being able to adjust the temperature of the burner made me worry about burnt coffee more often than it should have. A 1500 milliliter reservoir sits around the back with a visual indicator for the water line and a button on the side pops out that filter tray for easy cleaning. The tray is held rather snugly in here too, and it won't open up if the carafe is in place. Another nice touch is that the warmer will automatically turn off when the carafe is not in place, helping to avoid burnt coffee that might drip on the plate, and it'll turn back on when the carafe is back in. That spring-loaded mechanism on the bottom of the filter tray will also prevent drips from happening in the first place. A simple display with four buttons is located on the front, and this part of the unit is probably the weakest part of the design. Without connectivity to the app, there's no way to access the advanced scheduling or timer features, and it's just a simple selection of the amount of coffee to brew, what strength to brew it at, and whether or not to grind the beans or use pre-ground coffee in the filter. Thankfully, pairing is ultra easy, and the app looks essentially identical on Android or iOS. This app lets you specify which network and room the coffee maker is in, since Smarter makes more than just this product, and also allows you to pair your coffee maker with your If This Then That account, or better known as IFTTT. The app is well designed and both easy to use and easy to configure what you want the machine to do. The main screen is where you'll perform manual brewing with the default settings, and the default settings can be adjusted in the menu as well. Multiple accounts can control one coffee maker too, making this easy to use remotely for families or roommates alike. There are five different ways in total to actually start the brewing process. Manually, via the button on the face of the coffee maker, the start button on the app, or your favorite supported virtual assistant, as well as automatically via timer or geolocation. Alexa is the only virtual assistant that's supported natively per se, and Alexa can only start the brewing process via the in-app default settings. IFTTT, on the other hand, allows you to link just about any supported smart home device to, including Google Assistant, where you can control incredibly granular ways of starting your coffee. Okay, Google, make coffee. Sure thing, brewing a fresh pot. Want a four cup pot of fresh ground brewed strong for those afternoon pick-me-ups? How about a regular eight cup pot for Saturday morning? You can choose all these things as default and have different voice actions for each, including different responses from assistant as well. Wake up mode doesn't just have to be used for mornings, it can be scheduled at any time of the day too. There's also a really amazing geolocation mode that will start the brewing process automatically when you get close to home, 
and this can be restricted to certain times of the day too. So if you regularly come home sometime after lunch for coffee, it'll start that process when you get close, cutting down on wait times if you forget to manually start the process. Being able to remotely start a pot of coffee and run home to grab it can sometimes be a far more economical alternative to spending money at your local five bucks shop. And really it just feels awesome to be able to do this. The Smarter Coffee Maker isn't completely automated though, so you'll need to make sure you keep the unit clean and full of water and beans if you regularly use it remotely. It's not like this is a tough thing to ask though, it's just something to note. Having an easily washable unit with the ability to tell you how much water is left in the app also helps know how much coffee can be brewed too. And since the unit can brew anywhere between 1 and 12 cups of coffee, you're pretty much set so long as something is left in the supply stations. The coffee itself is great too, with settings for grind coarseness as well as brewing strength, you're sure to find the perfect cup. It's a phenomenal addition to your smart home, and Smarter's other products are looking just as cool too. Just be sure you're ready to plop down the cash, because it isn't cheap. We hope you enjoyed that review, and will subscribe to us for regularly updated content. Chat with us on your favorite social media network, and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 tech news coverage. Thanks for watching, and until next time.